as I said to you guys now we're on to the fun part which is the fan brush doing the roof been looking forward to this get a tiny bit of white because moss is a slightly different colour to grass has a little bit of the yellow in it uh, a little bit of the white in it sorry I'll just muddy that up a slight bit so it's not quite as bright there uh, you don't want a really bright iridescent colour on roof just wants to be something like so for moss Normally I won't put white in for green, but when it's moss you have to do to get it to replicate what you're trying to achieve. So pull both sides through, and what that does is just loads your brush to a chiselled edge. And then I'm going to actually tap and push into that. See there, that little ridge? That's on your bristles of your brush. With that ridge, I'm just going to shape and form this house. I you know that you don't want to go above where I've scraped out. It wants to be pretty fuzzy. That's what it is, but it wants to be straight. Probably get a bit more brave as you go along. Push into that. Start a bit lower than you want to be usually, easier for you guys, start a bit lower than you want to be and then you can always come a bit higher if you need to. Just tap behind that then. Reload again. Keep reloading all the time. Now, just there, it comes down at an angle. Just there, top behind that. I always put some shadows over the top of this if you choose afterwards. This moss. But I'm not too sure I will because it'll show through from underneath, hopefully. If not, like I say, it's easy enough to do. There are a few brown bits in it by the end of the year, but I want to paint it in its pristine condition. Reload, get a nice edge to it. This one's there. Make that a bit better. Don't mind if you go slightly too far into it, you can always change it. Now just on this edge, just want to tap so you can see some of the moss. There. About that thickness. It was quite thick. Good to check on camera, see how it's doing. It's not looking too bad. Just reload again. When you do this, load both sides, chisel edge, push, ridge. Gives you a really sharp point, but it's got the paint on the ridge. This is good for painting straight lines and things. Like we're going to be doing here now. I'm going to have to come over quite a bit of paint. So just tap it at the top of that. Don't mind if a bit of that brown goes into there. I don't really don't mind that. Because it was dying a little bit anyway. It's moss in it. There. Sort that edge out again. A bit worse, so I'm not too weird. And then I'm going to tap again, straight edge, and just in there, the roof goes down at an angle. Just about there. Going as I planned.
keep pushing into this colour. That's why I don't mind there, it's actually done a little bit of mud mixing, but I don't mind because it's dark and then I can reload the brush and go over the top of that again you see. Sometimes good to tap a bit of that brown up into there that you just picked up from there. Reintegrate that top edge. Old old cabin. I'd love to know how long ago it was when he built this. As I know that it's still a popular tourist site even now. So step back a lock. Right. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to use the brown, a little bit of sap green. Tap into that. And then just here and there, I want to tap down in, into here some, some of that shadow colour. That's the colour. Van Dyke brown, sap green. The mucky paint on there as well, the green. I'm going to create a few little shadowed areas so it's not quite as bright as it is at the moment. That's it. See, you don't always have to put the shadow down first. You can sometimes smash the shadow part in second afterwards. And then you can re-highlight over that as well if you like. It's all with practice. Right, this is what I'm meaning. Go back to my cadmium yellow. As it's got all those lovely colours in it. Push. Get another, another big old bridge. And then just here and there, highlight. And tap. You see how I've lost the top edge a slight bit? And you're probably thinking, oh, it's ruined it now. I haven't very very easy to remedy something like that just a few little highlights here and there over the top of that right what i'm going to do I'll just wipe the brush off totally dry 